Hello folks, Slightly Slanted Sleuth, I'm making this video a short one because I wanted to just address some of the nonsense I've just seen on YouTube. I've watched uh, a couple different people, and it's like they're hating God. They know not what they're talking about. The fact that there is light in the darkness proves there is a God. Think about that. For within you and me both lives the Antichrist, our ego. Our ego is against God because it's, that's all it knows, is to be against God because it's not physical. The pine cone right there in the middle of the Vatican courtyard, what does that tell you? Why would they have a pine cone in the middle of the courtyard? of the Vatican. Pyramids represent the process through the seven hermetic principles. The process being five-fold. It's just like we have five fingers. Seven hermetic principles, seven chakras, seven days of the week, yada, yada, yada. I could go on and on and on. The pineolite is the place where the Axis Mundi resides within the micro, which is the macro, which is the seed and the seed, the spark gap of humanity. Right here, seven hermetic principles. Be not surprised when I say to you, you must be born again. Crook in the flail. Flail, indifference of creation, crook the redeemer the very same light is lucifer the creator the light bearer which is us which is in our brain which is the pineal light surrounded by the 12 cranial nerves you know the pineal gland 13th in the middle the one in the 13 you know to the left here this is uh, the light and this is the cosmos Symbolic right there of the very same thing. The Ark of the Covenant, very same thing. There's the pineal light, guys. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Keter, Chakma, Bina, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Osiris, Horus, Isis. Those are the Holy Trinities. The three points of the triangle. Right? The tensors of the uh, chaotic waters of noon. There is another depiction of the light. The winged disc is the light within us. We are the fallen of the Bible until we reconcile the above with the below. We live through our heart. Marry our mind. One for all, all for one. Got to be strong, people. Where the world's on your shoulders. As a matter of fact, it's in between your shoulders. Orion is encircled by the Duat. When the one who lives in the horizon purifies himself, so this is encircled by the Duat. When the one who lives in the horizon, purifies himself. This unus is encircled by the duat. When the one who lives in the horizon purifies himself, he is content because of them. He is refreshed because of them. In the arms of his father, in the arms of Atum. Huh? We are born in this physical, hellish, devilish existence with the dragon which is a called our antichrist our ego for God created evil to form the good the vessel for divinity is us we are the ark of the covenant folks Noah's ark one and the same
symbol for Kabbalah, symbol for a Tesla coil. It's called a pi uh, bifiler coil. Almost exactly the same, right? Well, all this coil is is uh, uh, two wraps of coil around, uh, uh, you know, around a coil in opposite directions creates exactly what this is, the Anu, the heart-shaped void in which only God can traverse. Be not surprised when I say unto you that you must be born again. You must die before you die, so when you die, you don't die. You have to go through the great work, the divine union. You have to climb the mountain of God and see the light to be redeemed from the re reincarnation cycle that is earth. That is why we're here, to refresh the creator. Right there. Love, peace, and grace. Peace out.